applying for opportunity card it's not a straight forward application what are the different documents that you need both for option 1 and both for option 2 so here are the list of documents that you need for opportunity card for germany make sure that the booking is active while you are attending the visa interview Hi everybody welcome to my channel good breath in germany and in today's video we are going to cover what are the different documents that you need in case if you are applying for opportunity card for germany germany has introduced a new visa which is opportunity card that allows you to come to germany for one year and search for a full time employment for yourself and not only that you can also go ahead and work part time while you are searching for a full time job it's a great great opportunity to come to germany and find your dream job however applying for opportunity card it's not a straight forward application there are two options whether you fall into option 1 or option 2 in case if you want to check your eligibility on which option do you fall into please watch this video it is both in hindi and english and that is going to help you so in this video we are going to cover what are the different documents that you need both for option 1 and both for option 2 i am going to share my screen and as usual explain you in detail each and everything that you should carry for opportunity card for germany so that you have a complete file and your visa does not get rejected but before we move into that let me introduce you to me and my channel i am gurpreet i work here as a lead hr here in germany it's been 2 years now and i hire a lot of different candidates and not only that i came here on a job seeker visa and then searched a job myself so on this particular youtube channel we post lots on lots of information and very detailed information on how do you come to germany how do you find a perfect job i we talk to hiring managers we talk to hr professionals it's very informative channel for all of you in case if you are looking to come to germany so if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe for this channel right now one thing that is very important in case if you are looking to come to germany and find a job is to have a perfect resume but getting that perfect resume is not that easy because you are still used to creating your resume as per the old resume format for your home country but that will not work here in germany so it's very very important for you to understand the right resume format for germany and for that i have created this crash course that you can take that's going to help you to create a perfect cv for germany and in this particular video i am going to give a free gift that means i am going to give this crash course free to one of you and if you want to know how do you win this crash course for free then please stay tuned keep watching my video and very soon i will let you know how can you win this course for free so that you can create a perfect resume for yourself in case if you are planning to come to germany and lastly before we deep dive into the video in case if you want to talk to me and discuss about your profile your personal resume you, how do you want to come to germany or the current market trend or the visa application for you then you can go ahead and book my one to one consultation i will talk to you personally and help you solve all your doubts not only that you can also send me a message query and i will personally reply to each and every query there is a link in the description section below and you can reach out to me now let's get started and understand what are the different documents do you need in case if you are applying for opportunity card here in germany so let me go ahead and share my screen so here are the list of documents that you need for opportunity card for germany i will go through each and everything in very detail both for option 1 and for option 2 category so let's get started don't worry in case if you want this document then i am going to share the link in the description section below and you can download this document which will help you so first let's cover option 1 now please understand there are some mandatory documents and some optional documents but i will also suggest some additional documents that you carry that is not mentioned on the official website but that's going to help your file look more stronger and that will increase the chances of your visa application and those additional documents also we are going to cover in this video 
So now for the option one, very simple, you definitely need your passport original copy, your application form that you use for Vedics. Now you have to fill this application form. In case if you do not know how to fill this application form, then there is this very detailed video I have created. Go ahead, watch that video that is going to help you fill the application form for opportunity card. Then you need two identical photos as per the standard format and then you need the declaration form that is there if you need to know the link of the declaration form i will mention in the comment in the description section below then two copies of your passport data page data page is nothing but the front and the last page where your personal information is mentioned so you need to copy take two copies of that on the air for site sheet then comes the proof of financial funds now in proof of financial funds you have three options Either you show your block account, whether uh, and in your block account, you have to show at least 1027 euro per month plus enough funds for the return flight. So say that goes around approximately around 12,500 euros that you have to show which comes to around 12 lakh rupees that you have to show in your block account. So go ahead, make sure you have that or in case if you have already got a part time job, then you can show that employment letter from your part time job and that they are going to, you know, that's going to help you while you're staying in Germany or if you have a reference or a sponsor, then you need a formal obligation letter from the sponsor who is there in Germany. They have to go to the local office here and collect this formal obligation letter and they have to send you an original copy of this letter which you would need for your visa file. Or you can also show a statement of your current bank account. This current bank account can also mean your savings account and you can show six months bank statement with FDs. But I would suggest it's better to have a block account because that's going to make your file much more stronger. Then you have to show proof of accommodation. Make sure you show the proof of accommodation for 12 months. And yes, maybe you are not able to book one place for 12 months. So whatever different places you have booked for the entire year, you have to make sure that you show the proof of each and every place with the booking confirmation. And one thing very important here is make sure that the booking is active while you are attending the visa interview. Do not cancel the booking before the visa interview. They might cross check with the place that you have booked. So the booking has to be very active during the visa interview. That is important. And then you have to show the Anabin screenshots of your university degree and uh, your degree certificate so basically take a printout of those uh, screenshots that you get from Anabin. then you have to create a perfect motivation letter and in case you do not have a motivation letter you do not know how to create a motivation letter watch this video that i have created and i have explained in detail step by step what you should mention in your motivation letter because motivation letter plays a major role when you're applying for the visa here in Germany. Then very important is you have to show your job interviews and invitation emails. They are already asking you to apply for jobs and see whether you are getting any interview calls or not and also any invitation emails. So start applying for jobs from today itself, start attending interviews and those job invitation emails you have to carry as a proof. So at least you should try to get three to five interview calls and attach that as a proof. And not only that, you should keep applying for as many jobs as you can. And then you can also attach that as a proof that shows that you know you have jobs available here in Germany and you see a huge demand for your skills and that's going to help you in your application file. Now while we are talking about the job interviews as I said in case if you want to start getting the job interview calls from your home country it's very important to, for you to have a perfect resume as per German standard. To create a perfect resume, I have created this crash course which you can use that will help you in building the right CV. But now is a chance to earn this crash course for completely free. All you have to do is go in the comment section right now and you have to mention why do you want to come to Germany. 
what is your motivation that you want to come to germany and we will go ahead and review all the comments and one lucky winner from the comments will get this crash course for completely free to create your perfect resume in case if you are looking to find a job in germany so go ahead mention in the comment section below and earn this crash course for free that is my gift from my side to you now let's continue the video and after attaching the job interviews and invitation emails you have to carry your education certificates that means carry the final degree certificate and also mark sheets from all your previous semesters now in this degree certificate make sure you also carry the original certificate because they might keep the original certificate with your passport and they might return it back to you once they deliver your passport back so that's an important point here which is not mentioned anywhere on their website then professional certificate you have to carry experience letters from all your previous companies and from your current company because you're already employed in the current company you would not have the experience letter so you can ca carry the offer letter of the current company and if you can also carry the reference letters if you have any if you do not have that is okay but do carry experience letters and offer letter of the current company very important the next is you have to carry a proof of health insurance this health insurance should match as per the german bivalent public health insurance the details of which are mentioned on their website don't worry very soon i will create a video on that as well then you have to carry your resume or cv do not make your cv very colorful or anything make it very simple as per german format then proof of personal status in india that means either your aadhar card or birth certificate usually birth certificate is mandatory so make sure you carry the birth certificate and also carry the original birth certificate lot of time you people ask me i do not have the birth certificate what do i do well if you do not have it then i would suggest try to see how can you get your birth certificate because that is one of the mandatory documents then you are above 45 years of age then there is another declaration form that you need to fill and you need to carry that i will mention the link in the description section below for you to download that form so basically these are the different documents but also carry these additional documents that will really help you and make your file much more stronger so definitely carry six six months bank statement and this this bank statement should be duly signed and stamped on each and every page by your bank official once you go to the bank official you can tell them that you know you need this for the visa purposes and they are aware of the process they will stamp and they will sign on every page and they will give it to you make sure you carry recent last six months bank statement and not one year old also carry last 3 months pay slip that's going to help you say if your visa appointment is in october then carry the previous 3 months latest pay slip even for your bank statements do those things just one or two weeks before your visa appointment date so that you're carrying more latest documents then in case in even if you're following in option 1 i would say if you have german language skills then please go ahead and carry the certificate for a1 a2 b1 b2 whatever it is that's going to really add on to your application file for germany even if you are in b uh, option 1 where this is not mandatory so make sure you do that so learning german language is important they are asking you about that even in the motivation letter and even in the documents in case if you want to learn german then i have tied up with this great institute that have already trained more than 50000 students and you can go ahead and enroll yourself also you will get discounts because you are coming through this channel so you can start learning german from today itself so basically these are the different documents that you need to carry in case if you are following in option 1 this covers everything it's a huge file but you need to make sure that you carry two identical sets of these documents and also carry originals so you will have an original uh, file then you will have one xerox file and then you will you will have second xerox file so make sure you carry all this properly stacked and then go for the visa appointment this is germany germans really like when things are structured and properly kept 
do not try to find things there in a hodgepodge that does not look good and does not make a good impression on the visa officer so everything you properly stack as per the things in the order that i've mentioned here now suppose if you fall into option 2 most of these documents remain the same but some documents become more mandatory for you in case if you fall in option 2 so for example proof of language anything that i have marked here in green that has become mandatory for you now because you are in option 2 so proof of language say for german and english has become mandatory for you so please carry that proof of language so in this case you have to do german close and you have to have a certificate so that has become mandatory then vocational training in case if you have not done degree and you have done vocational training then that is an optional thing but if you are going through the vocational training then the proof of that has become mandatory for you the other thing that has become mandatory for you is professional experience certificates for option one this is not mandatory but we are still adding these documents to create a file much more stronger but for option two this is a mandatory requirement you need experience letters from all your companies you need offer letters so this becomes mandatory for you in option two category then previous stay in germany in case if you fall into option two please carry the proof of previous stay in germany i would say you can still carry this in option one that has become a additional uh, document for you only if you have traveled to germany previously otherwise you do not need to worry about this again i would say the additional documents carry six months bank statement and carry your three months pay slip that is going to add on to your documents so basically everything else remains the same in option two the only difference is some documents have become mandatory for you which were optional for option one i am going to share this uh, document with you you can go ahead and download this it is there in the description section below i hope my video was helpful as i have clearly called out each and every document that you need for opportunity card visa application here in germany and in case if you have any other doubts and you're still not clear about anything mention in the comment section and i will try to reply to as many comments as i can also you can talk to me book my one-to-one -one consultation and i will personally get into a call and help you solve your query not only that you can also send me a message and i will personally reply to your message through the link which is there in the description section below on this channel i share a lot of detailed information so if you are liking what i'm doing please click on like and subscribe so that it keeps motivating me and also share this video with your friends and family who are planning to come to germany on opportunity card i hope i hope i am helping you and in all this you have to remember that you have to stay happy you have to stay healthy there is a solution to everything in this world and in case if you're not able to find that solution you feel stuck then you can talk to me thank you so much for watching this video very soon i will come with another such detailed video you take care have a great day and i'll see you soon again bye